Hey everybody, it's BCR coming at you today with a little uh, fun knife stuff. So you may have heard of the Glock field knife or Glock survival knife. Um, but if not, I'll give you a little information on it. This is it right here. I heard about this knife uh, probably a year or two ago. Wasn't really interested in it too much because it's a very narrow blade and I like chunkier blades. But I couldn't pass up the price. You can pick these up for about $35 or so. So did you know that Gaston Glock made knives before he ever made his first polymer pistol? Kind of a neat history with this guy. Gaston Glock had a uh, small polymer products company back in the 70s and uh, over in Austria. And uh, the Austrian army put out uh, information about that they were accepting bids because they were looking for a new bayonet knife for their Steyr Aug bullpup rifle that their army uses. So Gaston Glock designed this knife and submitted it for the uh, competition. And uh, sure enough, he ended up getting the contract. So by about, I think it was 1978, these knives were put into service by the Austrian army and are today used by uh, many different armies and groups. Some factions of the German army, uh, Denmark, um, one of the Koreas, um, just a whole slew of them. It's become a very uh, iconic knife. And um, I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, and tell you a little bit about this knife, but the purpose of this video is not to really review this knife, it's to give you a um, a cool little mod that you can do rather easily. So I'll bring the camera down and show you this up close. All right, I should say uh, I do want to apologize for all the background noise. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I've got people running chainsaws, lawn tractors, power washers, and I got some traffic going by. It's just like unbelievably noisy out here. But other than that, it's a backyard paradise. <laughs> All right, so there's two different models of this Glock knife. This is the model uh, 81, which is the one with the uh, root saw. And then you can also get the model 78, which has the, the plain spine on it. And this, this uh, saw is sharp, let me tell you. You can do some... Uh, cutting and notching with that for sure. So like I was saying, this is a pretty narrow width blade, which is one of the reasons I never picked it up. And then for whatever reason, I went ahead and got one. And I gotta tell you, I just freaking love this thing. And if you wanna see some uh, hard use of this knife, there's a ton of, of YouTube videos out there uh, of people trying to destroy it. And it's basically an indestructible knife. This is 1095 high carbon spring steel. And it's about 3 16 of an inch thick up here. Six and a half inch long blade. And it's got the Glock famous polymer. And like I said, this was made, this knife was made before the pistol. You can see the Glock insignia there, I hope. So to mount this on the Steyr AUG rifle, this has a cap on it, which as you can see, mine is mangled. It came with this cap in, and it was just a flush mounted polymer cap. And uh, I had heard or read that there was a uh, metal tube in here used to attach to the uh, rifle. And um, I thought, well, that's kind of a waste of space. I should do something with that. That would go onto a, a, a lug on the rifle and then this would rest up against the flash hider. But there's also one other good use for this which I'll show you in a bit. And I find myself going for this blade more often than a lot of my other ones. It's just so slicey and dicey and stabby. I mean, look at that. And this comes with a hard scabbard. 
with a uh, belt loop on it here that you can you can slide your belt through or you can pull that out like that and then back on and it's got a drainage hole and it clips in clips in right over the guard listen and some people say it's a two-handed knife that you got to grab this pull that back and pull it out but that's not correct you just have to know how to do it so the trick is you push up with your thumb and then to the side at the same time pops right off every time I'll show you that again simple one-handed operation this is a small bayonet I'm gonna show you a comparison now that's a bayonet this is a World War II and Korea era bayonet for the M1 Garand this the uh, scabbard is a replica the knife is original this is from the Korean War I just got my hands on this anyway that's another video but I just want to show you a size comparison I'll show you how deep this hole is on this guy there we go so I'm touching yeah it's about an inch and a half 1.54 So what I thought I'd do is take a bolt, a stainless steel bolt. This is an inch. That's the shortest one I could find. Ideally, it would be half inch to three quarter inch, or you could just cut this down. Tap this hole, and then have a removable skull crusher on here, where you could also store um, little bits and pieces in there, fire starting material or something like that I'm gonna go ahead and cut to uh, the footage I took the other day showing me make this and then uh, we'll come back out and finish her up all right here I've got the knife in its scabbard and I got it in some soft jaws on my vise there's the bolt I'm gonna be using it's a half inch by one inch coarse thread stainless steel grade five bolt. There's the tap, it's a titanium coated half inch by 13 coarse thread tap. Got it in the tap handle. And then I'm gonna use some tap magic cutting fluid. So the cutting goes nice and smooth. Drip some on the handle there. Now the key part here is to get it started nice and straight. And you gotta just take your time, go nice and slow. She's biting in now. And these taps are uh, tapered on the end so it starts real easy, but then when it gets to full size, you can feel it start to really bite. So you keep turning. Once you feel some resistance or some grittiness, you back off a half to a full turn. That'll pull out the, the shavings. Continuing on here, nice and slow. I'm happy with the um, The uh, straightness of the hole I'm carving out there. A little more tap magic. That stuff works great. I think I got that on Amazon. I'm just going to put her in a little bit of fast motion here because this is just a, a slow process, but you get the idea. But you're you're seeing the entire cutting action here. I didn't cut anything out.
just finishing up here. Checking the depth, see if I'm uh, deep enough there. Decided to go a little bit deeper. And that looks good. Now she's coming out. Alright, that handles off. You can see all the shavings in there. Cut it real nice. Again, I'm checking the threads compared to the bolt to see if I uh, think I'm deep enough. And I was. So now I take the uh, tap and the knife and uh, cleaned out the threads. Now I'm trying the bolt for the first time. And she's going in like butter. go nice and tight give you a closer look at it here now you'll see later that I'm going to add an o-ring show you that in a bit here we go that's one skull crusher installed all right I hope that was helpful as you can see it was a pretty simple operation and uh, I told you I'd show you the O-ring. You can decide to run it with an O-ring or, or not. The O-ring will raise it up a little bit. But if you uh, take a Harley drain plug uh, O-ring, they fit perfectly on this half inch bolt. So I had a bunch of those, so I threw one on. As far as the size, I thought this was a good size, but another reason I went with the half inch is because that was my largest uh, tap that I had. You could probably get away with going with a M13 or M14 if you want a little bigger uh, bolt head. But I think this is a good size and doesn't add much weight. So now, I'm probably not going to store anything in here, but if you wanted to, you could, especially if you cut down the bolt or found one smaller. And now I can put this in and out as needed or change it out if I damage it. And I can screw it in with my fingers and snug it down right onto the O-ring. Sorry. <clears throat> and there you go. You got yourself a, a skull crusher, nut breaker whatever the hell you want to use it for. Glass breaker, you can use these ridges on the nut for a glass breaker. And now it's got some use, instead of just a flush uh, polymer cap that you can't do anything with. And you, you can't get them off, you can't pop them out and put them back in. I, it took me a long time to get mine out and as you saw I had to destroy it. So now the little uh, little uh, extra tip here I told you about the best thing about this knife let me bring it down a little bit you can also use this as a bottle opener Cheers, fellas. Later, BCR out.